Sports.com. I'm Evan Wren, and this is the Countdown to Two-A-Days series. Our daily look at an area football team and the key questions we're going to be looking at about that team in our August 16th preseason preview here at Big Country Preps. I'm here with my partner, Dan Youngblood, via Zoom. And tonight, Dan, we're looking at one of the powerhouse football teams in our coverage area, the Brock Eagles. Yeah, I mean, really one of the powerhouses in the entire state. Last year uh, was a state runner-up in Class 3 AD1, uh, losing only to uh, Franklin there in that uh, in, the, in the state championship game. Uh, they have a great group back from last year's team, 24 of their 34 lettermen back from last year's 11-5 and five group, which just uh, survived a really tough non-district schedule to go on a, a really tremendous run all the way to the state championship game. Seven starters back on both sides of the ball. Uh, I mean, this looks like a vintage Brock team. Uh um, uh, like all other teams, they're going to have, you know, some, some questions to answer and we'll, we'll discuss a few of those, but yeah, this looks like it on paper going to be another really good Eagle squad. Absolutely. Uh, before we get going and, and take a look at the Brock Eagles tonight, we want to remind everybody who is uh, on YouTube to please hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, and then hit that little bell to get receive notifications each and every time that we have a new podcast here at Big Country Preps. That'll make it easy for you to follow along with the countdown to two a day series, which will examine one of our area teams per day, all the way up to the outset of two a days, counting it down all the way to two a days. And that is going to start on July 31st. Yeah. Be here before we know it. All right, let's go ahead and jump into today's team, the Brock Eagles. Uh, like I just said, this is this should be a really good group. Seven starters back on both sides among 24 returning lettermen. Uh, they do have one kind of big question, kind of key question that I'm, I'm sure they will answer, but it's one that on paper kind of jumps out at you is, is who's going to be the quarterback this year. They graduated a kid in Tyler Moody who was just a, a great player at that position, a, a big-time competitor, a guy who really helped him across multiple sports. He's obviously graduated, and and so it's it's going to be someone else's turn. So we, we will we will learn in the preseason, kind of who's going to be that guy, and and really I think that'll be kind of a key to to how successful they are is just how how well that guy steps in there and is able to to kind of command the offense. But uh, it it should be that should be one of the one of the more fun processes to watch with this Brock team this year. My my question, one big question for Brock is really just how good can they become? A lot of people think that this team can improve on last year. Uh, that re- this last year's team went 11 and five, but reached the state championship game after a brutal non-district schedule. Um, how good can they become? And on paper, it looks like they can be better. As long as they find a quarterback, it looks like they can field a better ball club. They've got a ton of people. They got 35 people projected to be on varsity, seven uh, starters back on both sides of the ball. They've got 24 returning lettermen. They got a ton of depth. They've got a nine and one JV team coming up. I mean, they are, they're lined up to be better than they were last year, assuming that they get production out of that quarterback position. Uh, I shudder to think how good they might end up being, frankly. Yeah, I, mean, I, I do as well. And then I think one of, one of the big reasons that they I mean that their potential is so high kind of leads to the, the next question is just how good is this team going to be up front on both sides of the football? This They are just loaded with, with talent up front, talent, size, strength i mean you got a bunch of guys that were key members of that team last year that was you know a player two away from winning a state championship against what was a, a, a tremendous uh franklin team uh and this year they're loaded on both lines i, I think that this could be a, a major major strength of what should be an outstanding football team that's obviously gonna take some pressure off the quarterback so so too we'll we'll you know having brett T- tutter back at running back after running for 1500 yards carson finney at receiver after catching for more than you know 700 almost 750 yards they've got weapons they've got a good line how good is this team going to be up front i think this this team really has a chance to be dominant at the 3 ad1 level uh in on the trenches all right with that we're going to take a quick look at the brock schedule for 2023 and uh, I don't know how to put it, but this non-district portion, uh, which is uh, identical to last year, is just plain. It's moide, as they would say back east. It's moide. I'm telling you. Week one on a neutral site, they've got Texarkana, Pleasant Grove, a powerhouse 4A. Uh, week two, at home against Wichita Falls Hershey, another strong 4A. Week three, on the road, or rather a neutral site, they've got Wimberley. That's another powerhouse, 4A. And then defending state champion, Gunter, on the road in week four. Uh, and then they jump into district without a break. Yeah, just a, a brutal, brutal schedule. Jump into district on September 22nd at Boyd, followed by a home date with Peaster. They are off on the 6th of October before going to Whitesboro the following week for what should be a massive game. They, they played two classics against Whitesboro last year, and I'd 
kind of expect that again. Uh, on October 20th, they host Paradise before traveling to Ponder the following week, and then they wrap up district play with a home game against Pilot Point, which could also be a big one depending on how much improvement uh, Pilot Point makes this year. All right, with that, it's about time to wrap up tonight's edition of the Countdown to Two-A-Days series, the Brock Eagles. But before we do that, we want to remind you that August 16th is the big day here at Big Country Preps. That is the day we release our preseason football preview, the most comprehensive look at area football of any media source in the state. Stats, features, previews, opinion pieces, uh, you name it, we're going to have it. Don't forget to sign up August 16th. In the meantime, thank you for joining us for this episode of our Countdown to Two-Day series, and make sure you return tomorrow when we will be featuring the Snyder Tigers here at BigCountryPreps.com. 